So this is the uh, Premier One, one of many Premier One fences that you can get. This is the 10486. It's uh, goat and sheep netting, and I'll put uh, I'll put some specs on the screen and uh, of how tall it is and stuff. I got this for Alice. Um, I have I've been running Premier for the last year or so, and uh, <clears throat> they're fencing and stuff for our pigs, and uh, I love their product. Uh, it's strong and uh, easy to set up and move around and stuff. And so I want to try their uh, sheep and goat stuff. So we're going to get Alice out of the stall that we have her in and on, on to uh, uh, into some woods uh, so she can start clearing that for us. So I have Milo in this little area. I've showed y'all before. I don't know if I have showed y'all before, actually. But anyways, uh, he's in this little thicket area. We're trying to get cleared out, but he needs some help. So uh, we've got him in the hog net. Uh, Premier One's uh, one of Premier One's hog fencing they have. I really like it, but uh, for Alice, our goat, uh, she's tall and she just jumps right over it. So uh, we're gonna replace it with the hog netting. I'm gonna try to put it around in the area and then uh, while he's still in there and then set it up then get her and put her in the pen so uh, we'll see how that goes so real quick this is what you get this is the fence this is like a hundred uh, 150 foot like I said before I'll put the specs in the below on the screen you can look but uh, this is uh, like a 150 foot long one I got uh, and uh, I just bought the fence I didn't buy the kit they make kits uh, and you can get everything that you need to set up the charger everything. Um, I also ordered uh, four of these little, they're kind of like corner posts. Um, uh, they're just real stout stakes that uh, if you need to make a corner in your, uh, your fence, you know, especially in the woods, these come, really, come in handy really good. Uh, so, but yeah, that's, uh, that's all I got in uh, my kit. Got her in the pen with Milo. I think she just got shocked. She's got to learn the fence. That's the only thing that kind of worries me because I don't think she's ever been any uh, fencing like this and I didn't have really an area to train her like put her in a hardened fence and then put this around there. So I'm hoping she'll get shocked a couple times. I think she just got bumped by it but she probably didn't know what was going on. Uh, but I think she'll learn it pretty quick. And this fence is made for goats and sheep, so I think she'll be all right. But I just don't want her to like get shocked and run through it. So yeah, so far I'm liking this netting stuff. Um, overall, it's pretty easy to, to put up compared to the, the hog netting. It's just a little bit bigger, um, but it's, it's really easy. The posts that um, are built into the fence are really stout. Um, and. Uh, it stretches out pretty good. Um, it doesn't sag too bad. Uh, I would recommend, if you ever put this up, clean out the area really good, like where you're gonna put the fence. That makes a big difference. That way you don't have any brush or leaves or sticks 
hitting the fence, grounding it out. But, but uh, I just kind of threw it up and then had to go back and kind of clean up around it. But all right, guys, I'm gonna end the video here. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll keep you updated on the fence, and the goat, and all the critters, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.